All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Mahava Kakwadash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Hashai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother, scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh, Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much this lesson is going to be titled as your skin doesn't determine if you're an Israelite. All right. Your skin doesn't determine if you're an Israelite because you got a lot of Israelites out there, a lot of Jakes out there that have the doctrine that Israelites are only Negro descent. And you got to be dark skin. You got to be black to be a Hebrew Israelite, a so-called black man. All right. And we know there's no such thing as black people. All right. Now, the Israelites. All right. We're different shades of brown. All right. We go from where we go from where we go to a high, 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 high pale skin color all the way down to a dark skin color. It doesn't matter about skin color. It doesn't actually matter about, you know, phenotype, because that's where a lot of these Jakes is doing. Oh, He's too white to be Israelite. Oh, he got blonde hair. He got this. He got that. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean that he's not an Israelite because of his skin tone or the texture of his hair. So we're going to prove in the scriptures that the Israelites are scattered abroad. You got speckled birds. You got Israelites out there that look like a heathen, but they are Israelite. Their father is of a so-called Negro, Hispanic, Native American Indian. So, you know, Lord Woolen, we're going to prove that your nationality is determined by the sea line of your father. All right. Lord Woolen's that's is edifying. Numbers 1 and 18. And they assembled all the congregation together, right, on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families. What is pedigrees? All right. That word pedigrees. Let me get it right here. Salakia. I don't know why he's doing this. Salakia. Pedigree. Pedigree. It says the record of descent of an animal showing it to be purebred. The second meaning, the recorded ancestry, especially upper class ancestry of a person or family. So the pedigree is lineage. Descend, who you descend from. Lineage. Lineage. It says a lineal descent from an ancestor ancestry or pedigree so your nationality is determined by the sea line of your of your father it says the origin or background of a person in terms of family or nationality see so your nationality is determined by the sea line of your father so whatever your father is is what you are it doesn't matter about your mother your father determines your nationality <clears throat> so like you yeah. Your father determines your nationality. Numbers 1 and 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families. See, I mean, I, but they, they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. See, so your nationality is determined by the sea line of your father. It says, according to the number of names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. So your nationality is determined by your father, the sea line of your father. All right. So if your mother is a so-called white woman and your daddy is a so-called Negro, then you are a Negro. You are Judite. All right. You're a so-called Negro. If your father is a Native American Indian, your mother is a different nationality or a different race, you still what your father is. There's no such thing as half this, half that. Your nationality is determined by the seed of your father. All right. Numbers 1 and 16. That means 1 Samuel 16 and 7. Salakia. It's 1 Samuel 16 and 7. But the Lord said unto Samuel, look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature. Because you got Israelite groups out there. Oh, you're you're white you're an edomite you know they just automatically just pointing a finger oh you're not black you're you're an edomite see but you don't want to be the type of individual to throw an accusation out calling somebody a heathen and then they tell you oh my father is a negro and then you tell them no no they're not and then they pull a picture out and then they show you what their dad is and then you looking stupid so you don't never want to throw 
uh, uh, wrong gestures out at anybody. You always got to try the spirit. Like the scriptures say, you always got to try the spirit because the Israelites were scattered abroad. The Lord discontinued us from our heritage. So you can't judge on the individual. He got blonde hair, blue eyes and freckles. You don't know if he's a you don't know if his father is a Gadite, which is a so-called Native American. You don't know if his father is Puerto Rican. You don't know if his father's a Negro. You don't know if his father's Hispanic. You don't know if his father's Dominican. You don't know. So you can't just judge on the outward appearance. That's what that's what the Lord is telling unto Samuel. So it's the same thing for us. We can't just say, well, you're not an Israelite because you got freckles. You got blonde hair. You got blue eyes. You don't know if he's an Israelite or not because he could be an Israelite. That's why you got to go by the spirit. The spirit bear witness. All right. It says, or the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as men seeth, right? For men looketh on the outward appearance. You got these other Israelite groups that's judging. Well, if you're if you if you're not black, if you're not black, because they throw the black thing out there, which there's no such thing as black people. We're just different shades of brown. But you got Jake's out there. Well, you're not black. You're not dark. Your skin ain't dark. Israelites only Negro descent, and you're going off. Because when we read Numbers 1 and 18, our nationality is determined by the sea line of our fathers. You got Israelites. That popped and slept with heathen women and had kids with them. So you got Israelites that look like heathen, right? They look like heathens, but they Israelites. So you can't judge off of the outward appearance. All right. Because I have refused him for the Lord. See, if not as man, see if for men looketh on the outward appearance. And that's what you got these other Israelite groups doing. Oh, you're not an Israelite because you, you know, you're, you're, you're not you're not dark enough, brother. You got blonde hair, blue eyes. You a heathen. You can't do that. You got to go by the spirit. It says, but the Lord looketh on the heart, right? The Lord looketh on the spirit. The spirit beareth witness. Am I right? Don't the spirit bear witness? Romans 8 and 16. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit. So if an individual, he may look, he may not look like an Israelite. All right. He may not look like an Israelite. He may look like a heathen. But if he if if he's willing to 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 you know to do the works of the Lord and he and he wants to praise the Lord and seek the Lord. And he wants to go out on the highways and byways and he wants to learn this truth. He could be an Israelite through the spirit because the spirit bear witness. He may look like a heathen, but he could be an Israelite because his father, because only an Israelite is going to want to go out and teach. Only an Israelite is going to come and, and seek the Lord and call upon his name and worship the Lord. Yahweh Shai and want to do the works. Only an Israelite going to do that. A heathen ain't going to do that. A heathen ain't going to admit that the Messiah is a so-called Negro and he died for the Israelites. No heathen is going to do that. Only an Israelite going to do that. So that's why, again, at the end of the day, we can't judge on the outward appearance. All right. We got to go by the spirit because we discontinue from our heritage. And let me get that out. The Lord discontinued us from our heritage. Did he not do that? Let's get out that Jeremiah. Um, 17 and 4. Because <clears throat> we broke the old covenant. Remember, we broke the old covenant. This is uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. Because we have a heritage. We don't have a religion. That word religion means to divide and conquer. All right. We have a heritage. All right. Which was given from Father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This is our heritage. The Bible is our heritage. It's our history of our forefathers. Passed down, given down. We have a heritage. We don't have a religion. Right. It says that I gave thee and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. Who are our enemies? These 17 heathen nations starting from Esau on down. But the Israelites are scattered abroad amongst these 17 heathen nations. And you have the Israelites, Israelite men that slept with these heathen nations and had kids with them. So now you got Israelites out there that look like heathens, but they Israelites. And I'm going to give an example of what I'm talking about right now in a minute. But the Lord scattered us abroad amongst these heathens because we broke the old covenant. We didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments. It says, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. And this is what this is one of the curses that the Lord put upon us. Serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. See, gone. So the Lord discontinued us from our heritage for being disobedient. But now, you know, us Israelites were scattered abroad. So you got... You got the Israelites and you got the you got the speckled birds. You got the Israelites out there that look like heathens. All right. 
you can't just say, oh, he's not an Israelite because he's not he's not dark. He don't have dark skin. He don't have no melanin. He's an Edomite. You don't know. He could be an Israelite. That's why you got to go by the spirit. And we can use some examples because you got a lot of Jakes that just push that um, Israelites only Negro descent. So you must be saying that uh, Rehoboam wasn't an Israelite because Rehoboam was an Israelite. His father was Solomon. And was he not king of Jerusalem? Was he not king in Jerusalem? Let's prove that. Right? Because uh, Rehoboam's mother was an Ammonitess, which was what? A, a so-called Japanese woman, if she was the one on the earth today. All right? But but Rehoboam's father was Solomon. And he was what? He was a Judite, which is a so-called uh, Negro. So you can prove this in the scriptures. You had Israelite men that slept with heathen women and had kids with them. First Kings 14 and 21. And Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, reigned in Judah. Right. He was king in, in Jerusalem. Rehoboam was 40 and one years old when he began to reign and he reigned 17 years in Jerusalem. Right. So you can just imagine how Rehoboam looked. He probably had a little bit of features. He probably had a, a he probably had features of his mother, but he still was an Israelite. Just imagine Rehoboam was 40 and one years old when he began to reign and he reigned 17 years in Jerusalem, the city which the Lord did choose out of all the tribes of Israel. To put his name there. See? And his mother, his mother wasn't an Israelite though. It says to put his name there. And his mother's name was Nama and an Ammonites. And an Ammonite is what? A so-called Japanese person. So so Rehoboam's mother, if she was the one on earth today, she'll be taught as a Japanese woman. Right? And Rehoboam's father was a Judite, which was a, a Negro, a so-called Negro. So just imagine that, how Rehoboam looked. If you look at a, 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 a you know, as Esau, well, I'll use Esau's title. If you look at a, a, a so-called Negro man with a Japanese woman and look at their kid, their kid has like an olive tone color, but you can still see the features of, a, you know, they be like some, you know, the features of a, of a Japanese person. They, you can see that they, 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 they have features of a Japanese person, but they have dark olive, they have an olive tone to them. So that you can just imagine how Rehoboam looked. So, you know, it's all through the scriptures. Let's look at Moses' woman. Moses' woman wasn't an Israelite. This is Exodus 22 and 22. It says, and she shall bear him a son, talking about Moses, and called his name Gershom. Because what? Moses' wife was an Ethiopian, right? She was an Ethiopian. She wasn't an Israelite. This is Exodus 20. This is Exodus 2 and 22. It says, and she shall bear him a son. And he called his name Gershom, right? Moses' son name was Gershom. It says, for he said, I have been a stranger in a land. So we're going to prove that Moses' woman was an Ethiopian. She wasn't an Israelite, right? And and Mar uh, Miriam and Moses was speak Miriam, Miriam and Aaron, Salakia, was speaking against Moses, talking bad about him because his woman wasn't an Israelite. And that's when the Lord stricken uh, Miriam with leprosy. Because she was speaking bad on Moses' wife being uh, being an Ethiopian and not an Israelite. This is Numbers 12 and 1. And Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses because of the because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married. Because Moses' wife, Zephyrah, was an Ethiopian. She was not, she was not an um an Israelite. Right? It says, whom he had married, for he had married an Ethiopian woman. So she wasn't an she wasn't an Israelite. But Moses' son was an Israelite because Numbers 1 and 18. So you had Israelites that had that had kids with heathen women. They slept with heathen women, prophets in the Bible. They slept with heathen women and had kids with them. Even Father Abraham, right? Father Abraham, his woman was an Egyptian. Yes, he had Sarah, but he slept with an Egyptian and had Ishmael. So you can't judge on the outward appearance. Exodus 2 and 22. And she buried him a son. And called his name Gershom, for he said, I for he said, I have been a stranger in a strange land. And Moses' son Gershom was an Israelite. Now his woman was not an Israelite, but Gershom, his son, was an Israelite because he did see come from Moses. He descended from Moses. All right. So you can't judge on the outward appearance. Now I'm gonna give you an example. Now, Blake Griffin, if you look at Blake Griffin, Blake Griffin. This is when he played for the Clippers. He don't play for the Clippers no more. But Blake Griffin, he's an Israelite. 
Now, if you look at Blake Griffin, you see he looks, he don't look like an Israelite. He, he looks more like, you know, he looks like an Edomite, but he's not an Edomite, right? His daddy is a Haitian. Blake Griffin's daddy is a Haitian, all right? And what is a Haitian according to the Bible? The tribe of Levi, right? So Blake Griffin, he's an Israelite, and his mother is an Edomite. So you had Israelites that slept with heathen women and had kids with them. So you got speckled birds out there that look like Blake Griffin. Now, this isn't just the only thing. When you look at Blake Griffin's son, right? And we're going to show you Blake Griffin's son. Now, Blake Now Blake Griffin's father, we proved that he's a Haitian, right? Now, look at Blake Griffin's son. Because you got Israelites that look like this. Now, this is Blake Griffin's son right here. I'm going to get a good picture of his son. Now, this is Blake Griffin's son. Look at his son. His son got blonde hair. But his son is an Israelite. How is his son an Israelite? Because of Blake Griffin's father. So you got Israelites that look like Blake Griffin and that look like his son. His son is an Israelite. His son got blonde hair, right? But his son is an Israelite. So you can't, you can't judge on the outward appearance. You got people that's judging on the out, outward appearance. Look at Blake Griffin's son. This is Blake Griffin's son. He got blonde hair. His son got blonde hair. If you look at his father, it goes back to what? A, a so-called Negro man. Blake Griffin's daddy is a Haitian. So if Blake Griffin's daddy's a Haitian, then Blake Griffin is a Haitian, and his son is a Haitian. So you got Israelites that look like that look like Blake Griffin's son. So you can't, this is why, again, you can't judge on the outward appearance. So if you see an Israelite that look like him, just imagine teaching and he grows up and get older. And, and a Jake is teaching the word, and he tells him, Oh, you're not an Israelite. But he tell he can tell you, well, my, my grandfather is a is a Haitian. Would you gonna turn him away because he looked like that? He could he could pull a picture out and show you that his that his grandfather is um is 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 a Haitian. Which goes back to him. Look at Blake Griffin's dad. So Blake Griffin's son got blonde hair and blue, got blonde hair, got blonde hair, right? And then it goes back to Blake Griffin. He's the second generation. And then it goes back. So you got Israelites that's like this. Speckled birds. So you can't you can't judge on the outward appearance. You can't judge on the outward appearance. You cannot judge on the outward appearance. This is Blake Griffin's dad. Blake Griffin's dad is a Haitian. So again, you can't judge on the outward appearance. And you can't determine who's an Israelite by their skin color, by their, by their phenotypes. You can't do that. This this the spirit bear witness. So Lord one is lessons that are fine. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yom Shai, Bahashim Kakudash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother Scatter Brow, pushing forth this word in truth, sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord one is lesson was edifying. Till next time I say, Shalom.